Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Um, today's video is going to be... Sorry, what is my phone now? Today's video is going to be a chill, random hangout video. Uh, I've just arrived to Dubai Outlet Village. I actually don't know if it's called Dubai Outlet Village because it's outside of Dubai. It's towards Abu Dhabi. Um, I've been here twice. Um, I've noticed it once coming from Abu Dhabi and I was like, whoa, I've never even known that there is an outlet village in um, the UAE because I just thought, you know, there's malls and that's about it. Um, but I actually really like shopping at outlet malls and villages and whatever. Um, I used to always go to one outside of Frankfurt when I lived in Germany. And whenever I would be traveling, I'd go to the outlets in like the UK and um, the US and I really, really liked it. So when I saw this, I was just so excited. So today I decided to make a trip out here. It was about 35 minutes drive and I'm just going to do a bit of shopping, show you guys around because they have honestly amazing, amazing brands. They have literally on sale like Dolce Gabbana and Jimmy Choo and whatnot. Um, I'm not saying I'm going to buy those brands, but I'm definitely going to have a look because the prices are really good. And I'm hoping that they're going to have even an extra discount because it is Dubai Shopping Festival till end of January. So it is the last weekend now for that. Yesterday I went to Dubai Mall and I got this amazing pair of black stilettos uh, from Francesco Russo. Um, I was checking uh, out Matches Fashion website the other day as well and I saw them and I was like, wow, these are pretty cool. And they were like 1,400 dirhams there and I bought them yesterday in Dubai Mall because it is Dubai Shopping Festival for like 800, which is like $200, a little bit more than $200 when originally they were like $600. So I was pretty stoked and you know, I know it's a lot of money still but to be honest with you I've reached a point where I'm just very upset about cheap things because they just don't last I literally had to throw away three pairs of heels that I've bought from like Zara misguided over the last month or two And I'm like, why do I keep buying these things if they don't last and literally like the material start peeling or I don't know just like the heel falls off or like the little pointy thing I mean and I'm like oh, I just need to invest in good quality pieces and honestly this is what I'm ready to do today as well just buy a few items maybe I'm not looking for anything in particular but if I do come across something that I, that I like I'm definitely gonna buy it because I much prefer buying things when I'm not stressed when I don't need something specific and then I just usually wear them rather than when I actually need something and I'm looking for it and I cannot find it. So I don't know if you can relate, but that's how I usually shop. And actually, I just wanted to tell you guys as well that I have a friend in town. You guys probably might know Lisa. We did a France layover together. I mean, Paris layover. And she's here with, with me in Dubai. She moved back to Copenhagen back in January a year ago. And now she's visiting me. But I didn't want to take her today because I did drag her to the mall yesterday. And I just felt like it really drains out people when I'm just roaming around different shops. And yeah, I just thought, let me go today by myself. So yeah, this whole weekend I'm spending just shopping. <laughs> Um, but it is very nice having her, you know, Astro is not alone at home while I'm at work. Um, however, he is still throwing his tantrums, which is quite annoying. I really don't know what to do with him at times. Like, he just gets into his mischievous, naughty moods. And, like, the other day I walked him twice, like, in the morning and in the evening. And then we went out for dinner after work. And he just tore, like, two pillows. And I'm like, buddy, what's happening? What can I do for you? I think he has just this major FOMO um, when we leave and you know he gets super excited when we're at home and we hang out with him and then once we're out he just goes crazy so yeah I really don't know what to do with him because like it's been happening now since he was a baby he's like over two years old now like two years and a couple of months but he just has his moods and it's a struggle so if you guys have any tips how to stop him from tearing our couch and our pillows <laughs> please let me know all right so let's go and do some shopping i'm gonna try to film as much as i can however it is a public place so i don't know how much i'll be able to show you uh but i really like it because it is very quiet and honestly shopping on the weekends in dubai generally is not a great idea because it's just packed 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 with people however have a look at the parking lot it's 12 o'clock right now so it is afternoon and honestly it's just like some cars not too many so i don't think it's gonna be busy and yeah it kind of starts um over there and it just goes all the way 
still over there. So I think I should be done in a couple of hours. So this one is my favorite because they have so many shoes and cool clothes. I'll show you guys around. For example, look, they have this table just for new arrivals. Um, and today is the last day of additional 20% off. So definitely got lucky to come here. You see spring summer 2020 collection. It's 2200. So I feel like it's pretty full price, but 20% off. So that's pretty cool. So shoe shopping was not successful, but I did grab a few pairs of jeans that I'm going to try on. So they have brands like Good American, J Brand, Redone, Frame, and many, many more, Page, Citizens of Humanity, etc. I don't really wear jeans that much anymore. I just feel like it's a good staple piece to have in your closet, even if you live in a hot climate just to go to the movies, etc. So this pair is from Good American. Even though I said this is my favorite store probably in the entire mall, I'm not gonna get anything. I just didn't like anything that I've tried on. So we have to keep moving and I feel bad because you know they had the extra 20% off off everything already. But it just seems like it's not my day maybe or it's just not the right store. So let's go and see if any other stores have something good. I'm at Villeroy & Bosch right now and look at these cocktail glasses. I'm thinking to get them because I've been looking for some for a while. It comes in a set of two, 420, which is like 30 euros. I think they're so pretty. There's another one which is quite unique, a little bit more expensive but also pretty cool. But I don't know, I'm not exactly loving this. This one is a set of two for 315, also very pretty. So far, I only bought stuff for JD, some stuff from Banana Republic and from Sakur, shorts, polo shirts. I don't know why I like shopping for men more. So for handbag lovers, they have Donna Karen, Michael Kors, and I'm like only halfway and only with stuff for my boyfriend. How come? I need to buy something for myself. They also have Gallery Lafayette. So this is where I'm going, and as you can see, it's a jungle. I just tried on the Sandra dress here in Gallery Lafayette. And to be honest, it does not look great, but I like how simple it is. But I found these Sandra trousers for 20 euros, 25 euros. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna take them. And the last stop of the day is the shop The Deal. They have lots of shoes, clothes. I am really tired now. It's 3.30 p.m. But still, let's go check it out. And I'm done for the day. So uh, I'm trying on a few pairs of shoes here in the deal. These are Malone Solier. And honestly, they're just so beautiful. But they're not my style at all. They're like very fancy, as you see. But I did look at them online as well. So I just wanted to see how they look on my foot. Also, what I noticed about designer shoes like Malone Solier, Jean Vita Rossi, Aquazura and stuff like that is that they all run small. Like, I'm a 41, which is I think a US 10, but I always have to do a size up in these type of shoes. So this is a 42. Um, but again, I'm not going to take these. However, I did find a lovely, lovely pair of Jean Vita Rossi heels. I had a very similar pair from Zara. 
but this is the bit that fell off it was always hurting this part here so yeah these are right now um, 995 but they said extra 25% off so that means they're gonna be 740 I think so that's like 180 euros which I think is fantastic considering they were 500 euros originally and I'm sure they're gonna last and they're not gonna hurt I tried them on already and yeah I think I'm in love I really needed a simple black pair of heels another two pairs that I'm debating are these heels from Schutz um, this is a very very simple shoe very comfortable as well i think it's like 50 euros or something so i think i'm just gonna take it and this heel right here i've had before and i wore them to death honestly so i just don't know whether i should buy them one more time or just not get them again because i've had them before but honestly they're just incredibly comfortable and worth the price which is again 50 euros or like 40 euros so yeah i don't know still debating whether i should buy these or not so i ended up taking these and the shoots pair i also got two more heels in a different store these are 20 euros and these are 20 euros these look so fun i feel like with the dress jeans black trousers anything and these are just classic really nice brown shoes and uh yeah i am finally back in the car i spent five hours in the mall i actually cannot believe that i've wasted so much time however i feel like it was a very successful shopping trip um the last two heels that i've showed you guys were 100 dirhams no sorry 80 dirhams each so like 20 euros however i ended up spending 25 euros on both meaning in total so i'm gonna be heading home it's probably gonna be dark by the time i reach home however i still want to show you uh some stuff when we reach home uh so just keep watching i am back at home and it is quite late now actually but i wanted to show you guys the shoe closet because i've been organizing it since i came back so these are the three new pairs that i bought today and over here we have some nude colors um, some white shoes and like creamy as well and then over here we have some black boots these are honestly so old um, it's actually filthy but I really like this model and I even got um, two jobs with these shoes these are from H&M so I went to Emirates Open Day with these shoes as well as my current job interview um, so these are my good luck shoes and these are the two that I bought um yesterday and today these are the francesca russo ones and these are from Gianvito. so as you guys see i don't really have black shoes as i mentioned i threw away two so i bought two now so yeah this is the heel closet that i have so it's actually very late it's already 11 p.m uh when i came back like i said i organized the closet um we cooked some lasagna just watched some netflix and i realized i haven't filmed what i wanted to end this vlog with and it's actually something that i've never done before and it's called empties which is just showing you guys the products that i've finished recently and let me show you guys and don't get scared but it's a pretty big box i have like 20 products i think or a little bit over 20 um and you guys might be wondering, Brie, why are you uh, collecting empty bottles? But to be honest with you, I really enjoy watching um, empties videos myself because that's how I learn about products, if they're good or bad. So I don't know, I thought maybe somebody will enjoy what I'm going to show. So here we go. First item that I have is this Shiseido Ultimune Concentrate. Now, this is a very pricey product in my opinion. I honestly really like the texture of it. Um, I think it even won a lot of awards uh, for the research behind this. And it's honestly, I think something if you implement in your skincare forever might be very effective. But from one bottle, I didn't see a big, you know, drastic change. So I would give this like four out of five uh, pricey, but quite a nice product then over here i have a lovely nature republic um cleanser i bought this when i was in korea and honestly i really really liked it it wasn't foamy at all but it was very nice smell and very light product because 
I don't know, some cleanses are just a little bit me. You know, sometimes you just don't like them, but this one I really, really liked and I just love Korean skincare in general. So I think I'm gonna be repurchasing, maybe not, not this exact product, but um, something from this um, brand. Then the next item you guys have seen if you watch my vlogs already, it is Polish Choice S Oops, sorry. <laughs> SPF. This is amazing. I think I need to try definitely more products from Paula's Choice because I really love this product. I used it every day and I think SPF obviously is so important so I don't need to talk about that but generally the texture of this SPF was just something different. Very light, um, not greasy at all so I don't know I just really really liked it so I definitely recommend this to you guys. Next we have um, two setting sprays so nyx is really good i think if you like have a budget in terms of you know makeup and skincare i think it's a very reasonably reasonably priced product and it just does the job however i was not a big fan just because i feel like there are other better setting sprays out there and i think this is one of them so i bought this very randomly i don't know if the reviews about it are actually good or not but i personally enjoyed it and it has like this constant Oh, there's some left. Oh, I don't know. It has that constant, um, I don't know what's the word, <laughs> but you know what I mean? Whereas this one, you have to like spray in puffs. So I prefer this when it comes to setting spray and just generally any facial sprays. So really love that. This one is an okay product. This is a facial cream and my bestie said that she used like four bottles of this already like she just keeps repurchasing it and she loves it all the time so um i bought it just to try it out but i don't know what i think about it it was just okay um again i don't know not a fan i suppose there are some products that i generally love and this one was just okay so i don't know maybe if you're into like very interesting brands and stuff because i've never heard of this brand before maybe you can look it up and see the ingredients since i'm not a you know expert in this field i can't really say whether it's really good for skin or bad but it definitely had a very neutral smell and i feel like it was yeah just a good product but i think it was a bit pricey as well so um yeah just have a look now another product that is from a Korean brand is this um, green tea watery essence so now it says it all I think so it's basically a cream as well but it was very like liquidy and I just love light products that are very powerful so this one was really like amazing it was just two three pumps and you moisturize your whole skin and like decollete so I really loved it this is from Tani Molly Molly I don't know if you say Molly or Molly um, but um, I really liked it so I highly recommend this uh, I do believe that it might have some um, what do you call it like essential oils because the smell is pretty strong so I suppose it's not really good because of the essential oils but I could be wrong now the next product I feel like I can be really judge for this but that's okay i'm just still gonna say what i think this is the truth serum and i'm gonna be telling you the truth what i think about it it smells literally like oranges i liked it it's very like gel type of serum but i didn't like how overpowering the scent is i still have the moisturizer from that brand and i just kind of not really use it because i've learned from Hiram and many other you know skin estheticians that you shouldn't just let anything sit on your skin that has strong fragrance so i think that's what kind of made me not like it anymore there are better things out there that you can put on your face in terms of serums this kerastase scrub is honestly very very interesting i've never really tried hair scrubs before and i have another one um i was gifted this at the event and i just genuinely love how effective this product is because just removes all the dirt and i'm not talking about oil but it removes the dirt in terms of all the hair products you use like hairsprays gels whatever it really really cleans your hair and you shouldn't use this i think more than twice a week so i haven't really seen any similar products to purchase in store so maybe it's something like you can only get online or in specific stores but i highly recommend this and just to use it like once a week or something um it has like these granules so afterwards your you know head just feels so clean next up we have a john frida volume lift line 
Now I'm not exactly sure whether this was um, available um, to be purchased in stores because this was something that I've um, received when we were doing a collaboration about a year ago and it took me such a long time to finish it. This was a really nice light uh, line so it was really working with my hair type because I have very fine hair. However, would I purchase this again if I were to buy it? Mm, I'm not sure. I think there's just um, better products that they've created. Of course, Batiste dry shampoo, um, favorite. I mean, I don't necessarily care about what scent it is because there's just so many. Let's see. This one is very nice. So yeah, I like this one. Um, it is just natural and light. So um, yeah, five out of five. I don't think there's a better brand for <laughs> dry shampoos. This set from Noah. Both me and JD we loved it because I don't know what it is in the ingredients, but amazing. So, so good. Reasonably priced. Um, the shampoo was with lavender, whereas the conditioner had like rice protein and mango. So very different vibe in each bottle, but I don't know, I just really like them both. So I would definitely buy this again, and I actually might, but I have just lots of products waiting to be used so that's gonna have to wait we're almost done um, just a few more to go then over here we have TG um, this is something I actually bought from my friend's um, workplace she works in a salon in London you guys know data I think if you watch my videos she's one of my best friends um, and so they sell the TG copyright line at her salon and I've purchased this two or three times and I just love the smell of these products so much and I just love how my hair feels afterwards so this is a five out of five for me and to wrap it up with the hair products this is the Kevin Murphy angel rinse uh, conditioner um, I believe I had a shampoo way way back but I've used it up so I had to finish this conditioner and I know a lot of people love Kevin Murphy, but to me, I don't know, maybe I just only use two products and I, I'm being biased, but I was not in love with either of them and I think they're just okay. I think they're very expensive and yeah, I don't know if I would buy it again. I definitely need to try more products to give you a better opinion about it, but I guess it depends on your hair type and you know, for each person, different products work differently. So. This one was for me just like not very impressive to be honest. Lush Snow Fairy Shower Gel. This bottle is in a terrible condition. I don't know if you guys can see it's like folded and whatnot. It took me forever to finish this just because I hated the smell. I love Lush products. Um, but this one just like a sickening candy smell and I just don't like it at all. <laughs> yeah, this was a gift. I didn't buy this myself obviously so um, I've... I would give this two out of five just because of the smell. This is Way Rose Hair and Body Oil. Now I really like the fact that this is kind of two in one. Um, it took me a while to finish it as well just because I'm really terrible at moisturizing the rest of my body. Like I'm very careful with my face but the rest of my body just kind of like meh, whenever I feel like it. Um, so this was really nice because it just absorbed very quickly, had a pretty neutral smell. I don't really like rose too much, but this one was not bothering me at all. Um, I'd love to try more products from Way and just to see um, what else is good because I know they're more hair care than body care products. Um, they're more famous for it, I mean. And uh, yeah, I would give this like 4 out of 5. Okay, we're done with skincare, so just the last few things. This is Bare Minerals Original Foundation. I bought this like 2 or 3 times already. I'm shade Golden Medium. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Would definitely recommend it to you guys. Feels so light, but the coverage is amazing as well. So if you don't like liquid heavy foundations, this is the way to go. Tarte um, Shape Tape Concealer. It's their literally most famous product absolutely loved it i think it's worth every penny and i would definitely buy it again i'm in a shade light sand then if you like to go a little bit more glam when you do your makeup i really enjoyed this stella um, eyeshadow this actually was a set but this is the one i finished the most this is shade kitten karma so it comes with this brush and you just kind of you know put it and like blend it with your finger 
or with a brush I guess as well um, I love this so much and I would definitely buy this again however I'm not a big glittery eyeshadow person you know I think you need an occasion for that and lastly one of probably my favorite things I <laughs> had to keep this um, is this toothpaste I've been using this since I was a teenager however I don't use it all the time just because it is quite whitening and it's quite strong I would say so I would use this maybe once or twice a year only and yeah I bought this for the first time after years and I really enjoyed it so I think I'm gonna repurchase it again so if you're looking for nice teeth whitening products highly recommend this brand to you guys I hope I didn't bore you to this um, you might be really thinking whoa girl you're crazy you've collected all these bottles but to be honest with you I think it's great to do that because now I can just put them all into the recycling bin outside my house and you know just feel good about it because I didn't really live the most eco-friendly life up until now but now I'm trying to be a little bit more conscious of you know the bottles and things like that that I throw away in a normal bin so I just try to keep it in mind that you know maybe I should put a bit more effort into recycling I think we all should I just hope that you guys enjoyed this random video i definitely recommend if you are visiting the uae or if you lived in the uae and just didn't know about this outlet village to go there and have a look i'm sure you're gonna find some good stuff in there i mean i'm so happy about my new heels from Gianvito rossi i will actually insert and show you that on farfetch these heels are like 2800 dirhams and i bought them for 700 dirhams so couldn't be happier um, and uh, yeah happy shopping happy mindful shopping um, I know it's not maybe the most exciting thing but it's definitely keeping a lot of people sane in this COVID times let me know guys what would you like to see more of on my channel and I'll try to deliver and yeah until then I'll see you guys next time bye